if you join the United States Navy, you're going to be living in one of four areas. The barracks, the ship, government housing, or what we adults like to call, in my personal favorite, your own shit. Those are your four options, and depending on where you're at with your career or your relationship status, you may not have much of a choice on which one that you go to. I'll explain that in this video, but what I really want to get to is which one of these four I recommend the most for those joining the United States Navy. Let's get started. Now my whole team split up. I'm like, damn, man, what the fuck? These jump bucks making them bucks. We at the whole city with us. It's like party city with us. What's popping, YouTube? Now 11 the baby go welcome to the go farm i got something for you today's video was brought to you by me but if you're a subscriber of this channel then you know i oftentimes make videos answering your questions if you would like to see your question answered in his own video just drop down in the comment section below after you've liked and subscribed to the channel now let's talk about housing in the united states navy starting off with the barracks because that's what's going to be your first living arrangement as a junior enlisted personnel in the united states navy you see once you graduate boot camp you're most likely going to go to a school and in a school you're going to be living in barracks now these barracks are a little bit different from the barracks that you're going to be living in once you actually make it to the fleet how the rules are a lot more strict like strict as hell for example in a school in the barracks you have to be back in the barracks at a certain time like you're a fucking child and if you don't make it on the dot in your rack already there's consequences to pay the best way that i can describe the barracks is it's essentially just like a college dormitory now outside of a school i've never actually lived in a barracks but to be honest with you i'm glad that i dodged that bullet because the barracks typically have a lot of rules that's probably gonna irk you unless you're you know somewhere between the ages of maybe 18 to 20. for example it has regular inspections upon cleanliness and let's say that you have a roommate who's under the age of 21 you better not have no alcohol land around that motherfucker and imagine how annoying it is to be i don't know late for work one day and then you just kind of leave your bed a little messy i'll clean it later boom you have an inspection while you're at work with your rack still messed up and now you got a hit on your fucking record too many of those hits and they're gonna kick you the fuck out the barracks or better yet let me ask you a question you sir do you like clapping yeah. cheeks you ma'am do you like getting your cheeks clapped yeah. adult activity is prohibited in the barracks now don't get me wrong there's a lot of people that's clapping cheeks and getting their cheeks clapped in the barracks i'm just saying that it's prohibited but before you even get to the barracks you're most likely going to be staying on the ship if you get stationed to sea duty before shore duty which you most likely will you got to know that there's a waiting list for the barracks which means that your ass is most likely going to be staying on the ship if you've made it this far to the video make sure you go in the comment section below and type in yos it's going to stand for your own shit i want to see who actually made it this far in the video oh and like the video while you edit that's right you're going to be living where you work gotta love it the name for the rooms that's on the ship is called the birthing and the thing about the birthing is it's, it sucks you get no cell phone connection you barely got any space again when you're off of work you're at home and trust me in reality that is not as great as it may sound and the thing about the burden is you're likely going to have an inspection on your rack area every single day that you work so at least five days out of the week possibly even more you can literally have something as simple as a rubik's cube on top of your rack and it's considered gear drift gear drift in the military is basically when something is somewhere that is not supposed to be and if it ain't covers in a pillow it's gear drift the thing about living in the burden on the ship is that you never really feel like this area is your own and the reality is it's really not so the barracks is all right but it has a lot of rules and restrictions fuck the burden what about the other two well let's get on to government housing okay now try to stick with me because this can sound a little confusing if you're an e4 over four years of service an e5 period or you're married in the military and have dependents you are entitled to what's called basic housing allowance what basic housing allowance is it basically sums up what the average rent in your zip code is and it gives you a paycheck on top of your normal paycheck to help you pay for living costs. In reality, you typically don't get enough that actually pays for every fucking thing. If you decide to go on government housing, what will happen is that the government will literally take all of your BAH. You ain't seeing none of that shit. However, what you get in return is that you typically get a nice suburban, what I've seen, two bedroom, upstairs, downstairs type living arrangement. Now, obviously you still gotta keep these places up. You can't just trash government property, but it's not like the barracks. There isn't strict restrictions and inspections all the fucking time. And on top of that, most of the time, they don't charge you for electricity and water. Most of the time. I have seen where they have a electricity limit, and if you go over that limit, they will charge you extra money. But again, most of the time, everything's included. It sounds like a perfect deal, right? Nah. You remember how I said number four is my personal favorite, the your own shit category? It's still my favorite, and this is the reason why. You will never own any of the government housing you decide to live in. And if you know that you plan on retiring, 
firing in the military once you join, it's a smarter decision to actually buy into a home. That's at least at a minimum 20 years that you could potentially be paying off on something that you will one day own and no longer have to pay for it. You know, outside of tax. Versus giving up all that money on a town home that looks similar to the real home that you could be owning. In fact, if that was one thing that I could go back in time and do, that would be to invest in a home, in a house, the moment I joined the United States Navy. I would have been well over eight years in my mortgage by now. And I know what you're thinking, but I travel a lot. What about my wife? What about my kids? Fuck them kids. Now I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing with you. And on top of that, it's just nice to have your own shit. Or if you don't actually want to stay in this home for the rest of your life, I know a lot of people that bought into a home at one point, and then when it was time for them to go to a different command, the value of that home had skyrocketed. They sold the shit off, made bank, and went and lived somewhere else. That's something that you can do. Remember, you're a full grown ass adult. It's easy to be 18 years old, and the only thing that you're worried about is starting it up on Miami Beach. But for anybody that's actually watching this video, I hope I kind of jump started you into a more adult mindset. Make smart decisions while you're young so it can pay off as you get a little bit older. If you join at the age of 18, you can retire at the age of 38. Imagine at the age of 38, you have 20 years worth of your mortgage already paid off. Hell, depending on how good you are with money, you can have that bitch paid off. Food for thought. 9-11 The Baby Goat. Thank you guys so much for joining the Goat Farm. Be sure to comment down below what you would like to see next. You guys are the greatest and I will see you on the next video. Peace. Oh, it's like meant to like, you're like, you're supposed to get like bullshit gifts. It's like oh. a game, kind of like a funny game. Right. Like they'll like they give you a pocket pussy or something. <laughs> mm. Did I mention that in the barracks that you actually have to boot camp fold your fucking racks and shit every fucking morning? It's, it's annoying as hell. Then on top of that, they have watches that you actually have to stand, ro rolling watches where you have to walk around and make sure ain't nobody doing no dumb shit. You always got to, you know, every time someone comes to visit your room, you got to check them in. Like, it's it's not where it's at, man. You, you're probably not going to care if you're anywhere between the ages of 18 and 20, but I'm telling you right now, do whatever you need to do to get the fuck, get the fuck out of there as soon as possible. Preferably in your own shit. 9-11 the baby goat. Hit the subscribe button.